Finding a franchise quarterback in the NFL is something that's easier said than done. Historically and presently, teams swing and miss nearly every year for the chance to draft or sign the guy that can change the trajectory of a franchise. Right now, it's been Desmond Ritter's chance to assume that role for the Falcons. He's got five more games this season to perhaps solidify that. But Atlanta has had that true franchise guy before. Matt Ryan, Michael Vick, but nearly 25 years before them, the Dirty Birds had their first franchise QB. I didn't really even fathom at that point in time, you know, the uh, amount of clout uh, that that comes with, you know, in the community. Steve Bartkowski was the number one overall pick by the Falcons in 1975. He won Rookie of the Year. But after that, there were some questions whether or not Bart was going to be that QB1 going forward. You can't do it by yourself. Uh, it's the ultimate team game. It's called that for a reason. And quarterbacks, especially franchise guys who go to the worst teams in the league, you know, pick number one, two, or three, um, you know, it's, it's, that, none of that's changed. You know, you can't do it by yourself. Continuous struggles resulted in Bartkowski being benched, thinking his career was over. It was billed as Bart's last chance. I had to play well or lose my job. And, uh, man, I made a mess of things. I mean, it was just awful. And I, I went totally prepared, as much as prepared as any time that I've ever, you know, prepared for a football game and for that game, uh, and just fell flat on my face. And, you know, Lehman, Lehman called it, Lehman Bennett called it the worst game he'd ever seen a quarterback play. You know, I mean, it was just awful. A turn to faith helped change the outlook of his career into a Pro Bowl Ring of Honor quarterback in the red and black and also a recognition of intangibles that go beyond what you see in the scouting process. The more uh, the more depth I got in the game, the more I came to realize how uh, little the skill set really matters. You know, it's really kind of what's in here, you know. How, how bad, you know, that's the one thing you can't measure at the combine is this guy's heart. That heart from Bart established a true franchise quarterback in Atlanta, setting the foundation for a standard to come in Atlanta, one that quarterbacks since have grown to match or even exceed. To compare that to when you first got here playing in Atlanta Fulton County Stadium and what the Atlanta Falcons were then to now a billion dollar NFL franchise, what is that like to see, you know, beginning and now as Steve Bartkowski? Well, it, it's, uh, <laughs> It's definitely evolved. It's great to see what Arthur's created there. Um, but I will tell you this, I know he's not gonna rest until he raises that Lombardi trophy. You know, I know that um, because that's the kind of man he is. Uh, and he's done everything in his power uh, to try to give them you know, all they need to go, go out and be successful. And uh, in the end, he'll win. Arthur, Arthur will win.